Welcome back to theCUBE's exclusive coverage of the Dell Technology Summit. I'm Dave Vellante. We're going inside with Dell execs to extract the signal from the noise. And right now we're going to dig into customer requirements in a data intensive world and how cross cloud complexities get resolved from a product development perspective and how the ecosystem fits into that mosaic to close the gaps and accelerate innovation. And with me now is friend of theCUBE, Jeff Boudreau. He's the president of the Infrastructure Solutions Group, ISG at Dell Technologies. Jeff, always good to see you, welcome. You too, thank you for having me. Uh, it's great to see you. And uh, thanks for having me back on theCUBE. I'm thrilled to be here. Yeah, it's our pleasure. Okay, so let's talk about what you're observing from customers today. You know, we talk all the time about operating in a data-driven, multi-cloud world, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but what does that all mean to you when you have to translate that noise into products that solve specific customer problems, Jeff? Sure, hey, uh, great question. And everything always starts with our customers. They're our motivation, they're top of mind in everything we do. Uh, my leadership team and I spend a lot of time with our customers. We're listening, we're learning, we're really understanding their pain points. And we want to get their feedback in regards to our solutions, both current and future offerings, really ensured that we're aligned to meeting their business objectives. I would say from these conversations, um, I'd say customers are telling us several things. First, it's all about data, so no surprise, going back to your opening. Uh, and second, it's about the multi-cloud world. Um, and I'd say the big thing coming from all of this is that both of those are driving a ton of complexity for our customers. And I'll unpack that just a bit, which is first, the data, uh, as we all know, data is growing at unprecedented rates with more than 90% of the world's data being produced in the last two years alone. And you can just think of that. Uh, and it's everywhere, right? And so as IT, as the IT world shifts towards distributed compute to support that data growth and that data gravity to really extract more value from that data in real time, environments become inherently more and more hybrid and more and more multi which leads me to the second key point that I've been hearing from our customers, which it's a multi-cloud world, not new news. Um, customers by default have multiple clouds running across multiple locations. That's on-prem and off-prem. It's running at the edge and it's serving a variety of different needs. Unfortunately for most of our co uh, customers, uh, multi-cloud is actually added to their complexity. Um, as we've discussed, it's been a lot more of multi-cloud by default versus multi-cloud by design. And if you really think about our customers, I mean, I, I, I'm talking to them all the time. If you think about the data complexity, that's the growth and the gravity. You think about their infrastructure complexity, shifting from central to decentralized IT. You think about multi-cloud complexity. So the, you have these walled gardens, if you will. So you have multiple vendors and you have these multiple contracts. That all creates operational complexity for their teams around their processes and their tools. And then you think about the security complexity that that drives with the, just the increased attack service. And the list goes on. So what are we seeing for our customers? Um, they, what they really want from us and what they're asking us for is simplicity, not complexity. Immediacy, not latency. They're asking for open and aligned versus I'd say siloed and closed. And they're looking for a lot more agility and not rigidity in what we do. So they really want to simplify everything. They're looking for a simpler IT and a more agile IT. And they want more control of their data. Right, and so, and they want to extract more of the value to enrich their business or their customer engagements, uh, which all sounds pretty obvious, and we probably all heard it a bunch, but it's really hard to achieve. And that's where I believe, and we believe as Dell, that we can, it creates a big opportunity for us to really help our customers as that great simplifier of IT. Um, we're already doing this today. Uh, uh, just a couple of quick examples. First is Salesforce. Um, we've supported recently. We've supported their global expansion with a multi-cloud solution to help them drive their business growth. Um, our solution delivered a reliable and consistent IT experience. We'll go back to that complexity. And it was across a very distributed environment, including uh, more than 60 data centers, 230 countries, and hundreds of thousands of customers. Uh, it really provided Salesforce with the flexibility uh, of placing workloads and data in an environment based on the right service level objective, things like cost, complexity, or even security compliance considerations. Uh, the second customer uh, a, a, is a big New England Patriot fan. And Dan, uh, Dave, I know you are as well. Oh yeah. This one's near, near and dear to my heart. It's the Craft Group. Uh, we just created a platform to span all the businesses to create a more, I'd say, data-driven, immersive, secure experience, which is allowing them to capture data at the edge and use it for real-time insights for things like cyber resiliency, uh, but also like safety of the facilities. And as being a Patriots fan uh, like I am, Dave, 
they truly are meeting us uh, where we are in, in our seats, on their mobile devices, and also in the park they want. So just keep that in mind next time you're there. Um, but bottom line, everything we're doing is really to make IT simpler for our customers and to help them uh, get the most of their data. Um, I'd say we're going to do this is it through a multi-cloud uh, by design approach, which we talked a lot about with you and, and others at Dell Tech World earlier this year. Right, and we had Salesforce on actually at Dell Tech Group. The Craft Group is interesting because you know when you get to the stadium, you know everybody's trying to get 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 out to the internet. Uh, and, and, but then the experience is so much better if you can actually, you know, deal with that edge. So I want to talk about complexity though. You got data, you got, you know, the, the edge, you got multiple clouds, you got a different operating model across, security model is different. So a lot of times in this industry, we solve complexity with more complexity and it's like a band-aid. So I want to, I want to talk to, to how you're innovating around simplicity in ISG to address this complexity and what this means for Dell's long-term strategy. Sure, I'd love to. So first, I'd, I'd like to state the obvious, which are our investments in our innovations really focus on advancing you know, our, our, our customers' needs, right? So we are really, our investments are going to be targeted where we believe customers can have the most value. And some of that's going to be around how we create strategic partnerships as well. Uh, connected to what we just spoke about, much of the complexity uh, customers have or are experiencing is in the orchestration and management of all the data in all these different places. And customers, uh, you know, they must be able to quickly deploy and operate across cloud environments. They need to increase their developer productivity, really enabling those developers to do what they do best, which is creating more value for their customers and for their businesses. Uh, our innovation efforts are really focused on addressing this by delivering an open and modern IT architecture that allows customers to run and manage any workload in any cloud, anywhere data lives. We're focused on also focused on consumption-based solutions, which allow for a greater degree of simplicity and flexibility, which they're really asking for as well. Um, the foundation for this is our software-defined common storage layer. That common storage layer, you can think about this, Dave, as our IaaS, if you will. It underpins our data access and mobility across all data types and locations. So you can think private, public, telecom, colo, edge, and it's delivered in a secure, holistic, and consistent cloud experience through Apex. Um, we are making a ton of progress to let you know, just to be just to be clear. We made headway in things like Project Alpine, which you're very well aware of. This is our storage as a service. We announced this back in, in January, which brings our unique software IP from our flagship storage platform to all the uh, major public clouds, really delivering the best of both worlds allowing our customers to take advantage of Dell's enterprise class data services and storage software, such as performance at scale, resiliency, efficiency, and security. Uh, but in addition to that, we're leveraging the breadth of the public cloud services, right? Their on-demand scaling capabilities and access to analytical services. So in addition, uh, we're really, we're, we're on our way to win at the edge as well uh, with Project Frontier, which reduces complexity at the edge by creating an open and secure software platform to help our customers simplify their edge operations, optimize their edge environments and investments, secure that edge environment as well. Um, I believe you're gonna be discussing Project Frontier here with Sam Brokaw in the very near future. So I won't give up more, too many more details there. Uh, and lastly, we're also scaling Apex, which you know well, shifting from our vision, really shifting from vision to reality and introducing several new Apex service offerings, which are coming to market over the next month or so. Um, and the intent is really supporting our customers on their as a service transitions by modernizing the cons consumption experience and providing that flexible as a service model. Ultimately, we're trying to help our customers achieve that multi-cloud by design to really simplify IT and unlock the power of their data. So some good examples there. Um, I, I like to talk about the super cloud, as you, you know, you're building on top of the you know, hyperscale infrastructure yeah. and you got Apex is your cloud, the common storage layer, you call it your IaaS, and, and that's, a, that's a ingredient in what we call the super cloud out to the edge. You have to have a common platform there. And one of the hallmarks of a, a cloud company, and as you become a cloud company, everybody's a cloud company, ecosystem <laughs> becomes really, really important in terms of product development and, and innovation. Uh, Matt Baker always loves to stress it's not a zero, zero sum game. And, and I think SuperCloud recognizes that, that there's value to be built on top of other clouds. And, and, and of course, on top of your infrastructure so that your ecosystem can add value. So what role does the ecosystem play there? 
uh, for me, it's it's pretty clear. It's 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 critical. Um, I can't say that enough about the uh, having an open ecosystem. Uh, think about everything we just discussed, uh, and I agree with your super cloud analogy. I agree with what Matt Baker had said to you. I would assert no one company can actually address all the pain points and all the issues and challenges our customers are having on their own. Not one. Um, I think customers really want and deserve an open technology ecosystem, one that works together. So not these closed stacks that discourages interoperability or stifles innovation and productivity of, our, of each of our teams. Um, we, Dell, I guess, have a long history of supporting open ecosystems that really put customers first. And to be clear, we're going to be at the center of the multi-cloud ecosystem. And we're working with partners today to make that a reality. I mean, just think of what we're doing with VMware. We continue to build on our first and best alliances uh, with them. In August at their VMware Explorer, which I know you were at, we announced several joint engineering initiatives to really help uh, customers more easily manage and gain value from their data and their infrastructure. Uh, for multi-cloud specifically, we strengthened our relationship with VMware and you know, with Tanzu as part of that. In addition, uh, just a few weeks ago, we announced our partnership with Red Hat um, to simplify our multi-cloud deployments for managing containerized workloads. And I'd say, and using your analogy, I could think of that as our multi-cloud platform. So that's kind of our PaaS layer, if you will. Uh, and as you're aware, we have a very long-standing and strategic partnership with Microsoft. And I'd say, stay tuned. There's a lot more to come with them and also others in this multi-cloud uh, space. Um, shifting a bit to some of the growth engines that my team's responsible for, the edge, right? As you think about data being everywhere, uh, we've established partnerships for the edge as well with folks like PTC and Litmus for the manufacturing edge, but also folks like Deep North for the retail edge analytics. Um, in data management, using your super cloud analogy, Dave, the SaaS, right? This is our SaaS layer. We've announced that we're collaborating and partnering with folks like Snowflake. And, and there's other data management companies as well to really simplify data access and accelerate those data insights. Um, and then given customers choice of where they'd like to have their IT and their infrastructure, we've, uh, we're expanding our Colo partnerships as well with folks like Equinix. And, and they're allowing us to broaden our availability of APEX, providing customers the flexibility to take advantage of those as a service offerings wherever it's delivered and where they can get the most value. So those are just some you can hear from me. I think it's critical, not only for, for us, I think it's critical for our customers. I think it's critical for, critical for the entire um, you know, industry as a whole to really have that open technology ecosystem. Um, as we work with our customers on our multi-cloud solutions really to meet their needs, we'll continue to collaborate with whoever customers choose and, you know, and who they want us to do business with. So I'd say a lot more coming in that space. So it's been an interesting three years for you. It's just, just over three years now since you've been made the president of the ISG. <laughs> and so you had to dig in and it was obviously a strange time around the world, but, but you really had to look at, okay, how do we modernize the platform? How do we make it you know, cloud first? You've mentioned the edge, we're expanding. So what are the big takeaways? What do you want customers and our audience to understand? Just some closing thoughts and if you could summarize. Sure. So I'd say first, uh, you know, we've discussed we're working in a very fast paced, ever changing market with uh, massive amounts of data that needs to be managed. It's very complex and our customers need help with that complexity. I believe that Dell Technologies is uniquely positioned to help as their multi-cloud champion. Um, no one else can solve the breadth and depth of the challenges like we can. Uh, and we're going to help our customers move forward when they basically moving from a multi-cloud by default, as we've discussed before, to multi-cloud by design. And I'm really excited for the opportunity to work with our customers to help them expand that ecosystem as they truly realize uh, the future of IT and, and what they're trying to accomplish. Jeff, thanks so much. Really appreciate your time. Always a pleasure. Go Pats. And uh, we'll see you around <laughs> the block. <laughs> thanks, Dave. All right, you're watching exclusive Inside Insights from Dell Technology Summit on theCUBE, your leader in enterprise and emerging tech coverage.